Kasese took our vision that the purpose is not only to air the gospel in the air, but we also want to do the groundwork to be able to get in touch with the people. We want relationship with the people. When we were there that time in Kasese town, people told us how they didn't have radios, they didn't have enough radios, and we asked them how far they were from each other. And they told us in 100 kilometers you can find like 30 homes. Okay, so if two people in that particular community have a radio, can 15 homes meet in one home and listen to the programs and then actually get to discuss the program and help each other grow? That was in 2012. We went back in 2013 and there were eight of them already planted. Aeneas Kato amazed us so much. He picked everything that we taught, he wrote down everything, and when he went back, he was in touch with the missions coordinator and the manager of the radio station, and they caught the vision together. In the meetings, they have sharing of experiences, challenges, and achievements. In each place, we have a caregiver. When someone gives his life to Christ and they need a counselor, they have someone who they are connected to people who will encourage them. Everyone needs an encourager. When they come across a hard verse in the Bible, one person may be knowing a little better than the other person, and then this person helps the other one who knows little. The other one who doesn't have anything will be helped by someone who has some knowledge. So these people are learning how to write and how to read so that they can be able to read the Bible by themselves. They also help on how to have sustainable income generating activities to get some little extra money. When the floods came two years ago, many people were displaced. Some went to stay with relatives in other places and others stayed in camps. Since there wasn't much to do, the gardens were destroyed, the businesses were destroyed. They would just sit and talk. So in their sharing, many of them kept talking about words of hope, words of hope, words of hope this, words of hope that. And that's how it picked up. In 2014, they told us they had 45 listener groups, 45 listener groups, and they wanted us to go and meet them. When we began, they were so fast at taking the project on. So the more they've called people into cells for discipleship, the more they've given birth to different groups, different groups. They owned the program, it was their own. And the fact that it was non-denominational, everyone could come and listen, it was so exciting. They quickly encouraged the people, said, if you find yourself three or four people in a certain location and you are listening to this program, form a group who will come to visit you. And automatically those groups turn into cell groups, others are now turning into churches. As we speak, there are 85 listener groups. Over the years, many of them have managed to secure radios, but they just can't listen alone in their houses. At the end of the day, it's not only just a sharing or cell group, but it's also rising leaders amidst themselves. And these leaders are soon becoming pastors. We are doing church planting in a way we did not know, which is so amazing. I am excited about Kasese and about Messiah FM.